think that is going to be a good shot. Check out where the blue one landed. My first shot. Right there. So, that wasn't too bad. Not too bad. I wanted to take a minute and just uh, talk to you guys a little bit about where we're headed with the show this. Uh, this year or coming up in 2023 of course we have the curse of oak island starting um on tv here two weeks a little over two weeks today being the 29th of october and the uh, curse of oak island starts on november 15th on tuesday night so just a little over two weeks and uh, of course we'll be using um We'll be talking about the Curse of Oak Island. We'll be talking about uh, the rest of the Beyond Oak Island episodes that are still on for the rest of the uh, for the rest of this season. And uh, it's been so wonderful that we've had such great guests. Uh, Jan has worked really hard to go out and contact the people who are featured on those episodes and ask them to come on with me on the show. And so far, they've all agreed to do that, and it's been great. It really has, and we've met some great people. And so interesting to listen to. And then we have, on the start of The Curse of Oak Island, on the 15th, on the 16th, when I do the first recap of the season premiere, we have Maddie Blake is going to join us. And that is really cool. Uh, Maddie's been a great friend of the show. Um, worked a little differently this year, but uh, he was more than happy to come on and help us kick off the season 10 season premiere of The Curse of Oak Island. So that'll be a lot of fun. What do you guys think is going to happen this year? Um, obviously, we know from some of the uh, footage that we have gained so far, and uh, Just looking at some of the birds that are flying. Oh, you see that? <laughs> you see them coming around? They're woodpeckers. <laughs> Two of them, they were just flying around this little spot right here. We'll hear them tapping away here pretty soon. Those are good sized woodpeckers. But uh, anyway, so we're going to have a lot of fun this season. I'm also looking into some other shows um, that piqued my interest uh, over the course of the last little while. Of course, you know Skinwalker Ranch. And that has been a fun show. And I have to tell you that being an insider um, for the Skinwalker Ranch or at Skinwalker Ranch has really been a fun um, membership. It is a membership. Um, if you click in the link below, in the description I have down there, in the link I have in the description, you will see a, uh, a link there for going to Skinwalker Ranch. You can sign up there for a, uh, it's a membership, there's a free trial. Um, I forget how much it costs per month. I, I think it's like eight or eight dollars or nine dollars, something like that a month. But it really is one of the best memberships that I've ever had because it's so interactive with the cast of the secret of Skinwalker Ranch. They come on there quite frequently um, and talk with us. Um, they're just wrapping up filming right now for season four. And uh, looking forward to that. There's gonna be a lot of new stuff that they've done there. Um, but we get to watch the live streams from the cameras. They have 1080p cameras, high definition cameras. They have stationed all around the ranch. 
so we get to watch the video. And we have picked up, the insiders have picked up a lot of anomalies. The, probably the best one to date is Lucy, the orb that was in Homestead 2. Um, that was really, really interesting. And no doubt an orb. It wasn't dust or anything else. It was, uh, it'll, it'll come out in the public, uh, probably here at some point. But, uh, yeah, Lucy was awesome. Um, and I've even captured one myself. I may show it at some point. It's really the property of skinwalkerranch.com. But, um, maybe I can show it at some point. But uh, it was definitely, in my opinion, a UAP. Or a UFO. Um, but anyway, so a lot of interesting things coming up this season uh, for our show. I'm um, also going to probably get into a little bit of uh, Expedition Bigfoot. As I've mentioned before, um, when I was out at Phenomicon in Utah, I met the cast members of that show and was able to sit down and talk to them all about coming on. Uh, my podcast and uh, just having a chat with them a little bit about their show about their backgrounds you will be amazed um, if you don't already know the background of someone like uh, Mar Dr. Mariah Mayer what an impressive background that woman has um, which makes her a great fit for this team um, and then uh, talking to Sage <laughs> Russell uh, Accord a great guy and Ronnie LeBlanc. I never got a chance to talk to uh, the other gentleman. I'm at a loss for his name all of a sudden. But uh, these are the other part of the crew. I'll think of it here in a minute. But um, he he had uh, scheduling things going on. So he was there and did his, his uh, talk. And then he left. He wasn't around long. Um, so I didn't get a chance to talk to him. But the other three said they would love to come on. Actually, Mariah and Ronnie said they would come on together. So that's going to be a fun show. So we're going to do a recap of the entire Season 3 of Expedition Bigfoot. Um, we're going to talk about every single episode. And I might have a new co-host with me for that. Um, the guy who kind of got me going on this was an insider that I met. He's a moderator for the insiders at Skinwalker Ranch, Mike Owen. And Mike put me up to the challenge to talk to them and kind of maybe hopefully change my mind about the whole Bigfoot um, story. Uh, it's it's interesting and I've always been on the fence with Bigfoot as I've mentioned before. Um, I'm one of those people who say where's the bones? So we'll see. Um, but we're going to talk to him. I have watched the episodes. I do like episode, uh, I'm sorry, season three. I do like season three of The Secret of Skinwalker Ranch. Uh, it was very good. And so I'm going to go through, recap that, and then I'm going to talk to, have them guys come on the show. I think their season starts um, in March, I believe. March or April, right around there. So I've got a few months to kind of get that together, do the recaps of season three, and then have them on the show. So that's coming. So let's get back to throwing some discs, all right? I like this hole. This is one of my favorites. Hole number 14. And as you see, it's just a, a little dog leg to the left. And the basket is right over there, but you have to go around. Well, if you want to go through the trees, you can this way. But the path, the fairway, comes right through here and curves right there to the basket. Should be able to reach it. Montreux, it's only 169 feet. Hmm. Oh. 
Not quite. Should have made that part. Definitely should have made that part. Should have been a birdie. 